right in the line right there. Here we are, the Brewmans. We're live at you again because it's a big day in American history. It's a huge day in American history today. It's one of the what best days ever. Well, let's first, before we get there. Mike Russell. That's just drinking. Wrong. I know. That is wrong. We'll get to that I in know. a second. Okay. My name is Rob Hunter. We are the Brewmans. We're glad that you're joining us live for this uh, special day in American history. The special day, Mike. Yeah, it is a special day. Let me just take it in for a second. It is December 5th. Yes. It is the day that prohibition ended in the United States of America. <laughs> Writing a wrong of society. That's Writing right. a wrong. That's right. But now, the, I yeah. am drinking iced tea. This right here. You, I'm right. drinking iced tea. There's a reason That's why wrong. I'm drinking Sorry, iced tea because I have to work a little bit later, kids. Mm. Yeah, I gotta read the news. Beer yeah. plus reading the news, that's no bueno. Not a good combination. However, I do not have to read the news because I already read my news. You did. You did read At it. 5 a.m. You read yeah. your news at 6 p.m. I, I read do. my news at 5 a.m. That's right. We are news readers. Yes, we are. We're news readers. Yes. And we're beer drinkers. So I have a or beer. We're iced tea drinkers. Yeah, but I have, shout out to Dogfish Head. This is their 60 minute IP. I got one of those because there's no better way to celebrate. Prohibition, the end of it, by drinking a good micro brew, a craft brew. So basically, my shed. prohibition continues as we're waiting for seven o'clock to roll around when I finish my shift. Yep. And then trust me. Yep. It's end of prohibition and putting up <laughs> Christmas lights. So I'm gonna get on a ladder. Yeah. I'm gonna get on a ladder and be drinking beer. That's good. What could possibly go wrong? Just ask Clark <laughs> W. Griswold. Does your That's electric right. meter go? Oh my gosh, I shut it down. Caliberty like, nuclear alert. plant kicks on. Like, oh, run high alert, run high alert. <laughs> so we wanted to give you some facts too about the end of prohibition. Because that's the whole reason for this. It's not just, hey, more beer. Hey. By the way, 60 minute IPA from Dog Shed. Solid beer. Outstanding beer. Outstanding IPA. So here's a fact. In 1873, okay. the record number of breweries in the United States. There 1873. Was, yep, 4,100 okay. breweries. But everything was localized back then. you got to remember. So everything was like regionalized. So there was probably breweries in Massachusetts. There was breweries right. in, you know, whatever states there was other than Massachusetts in 1870. We were cutting your head off. That's right. I got you, buddy. Yeah, sorry. It's right there. Okay. See, look at you. <laughs> Fixing the camera. Fixing the camera. Yeah. So, but the, here is the other interesting statistic. So we have 1873, then beer started to get bigger, like the companies got bigger. Right. And then Prohibition in 1919 passed, was ratified in 1919, took effect in 1920, effectively shutting down breweries, obviously, because it became illegal to manufacture beer, but it wasn't illegal to drink it, hence the popularity what? of speakeasies. Interesting. So you right. couldn't get busted for drinking your iced tea. No. I couldn't get direct, uh, busted for drinking this Dogfish Head 60-minute IPA. But you couldn't I'll, brew it. But I couldn't brew it, because if you brew it or I brew it, which we're gonna do at some so point. So could in you romance. buy it legally? No, you couldn't manufacture or sell it or but buy. But you could have. Would you, you have like a it. stockpile? Yeah, you could say, you know. So that's the interesting part about prohibition. Okay. So, uh, sorry, ladies, I'm gonna blame y'all because y'all were upset. Y'all didn't have the right to vote then. So, y'all husbands was coming home drunk apparently, causing a ruckus. It's never happened before. Nope, never happened. Nope. So, but women started the prohibition movement. And in part, I think because they didn't have a lot of power back then, so they're okay. like, "We need to get rowdy," and their yeah, husbands we need are to being totally... jerks or whatever. Yeah. So they clamped down. They got the movement going. So they sh like shutting down all of the breweries. First the Garden of Eden, and now this. Yeah. Mm. I don't know what's worse. Yeah. I don't know. We'll have to find out. Yeah. Maybe that's a Christmas day. We'll do it. We'll do that one live. We'll <laughs> contemplate Christmas that one. Day. Christmas day. We'll contemplate that one live. <laughs> so, the, but the movement obviously progressed. So it was joined by the religious movement because. Alcohol was blamed for all the moral problems in this country, and right. everybody thought that if you took the beer away, all the problems would be, be fine. Solved. Yeah, we'd go back to They'd being a moral country. They'd make America great again. That's where Trump <laughs> got it from. That's where he got it from. <laughs> now we know for prohibition. Yeah. So, but obviously people get, we're a drunk nation. There's a statistic, and I can't remember the exact nation. number. We like We've to drink. We've been drinking since the start of this country. That's right. They brought beer over on the, on a beer. Whiskey. Hi, January. January's in. January! What's up, girl? We'll be doing this. January likes to drink some beers. Good. Mm -hmm. I gotta right. get around the better beers, though. That's, uh, that's you, January. Ooh, I'm talking to you. Are you old? Sorry. So, but they brought, like, whiskey over on the Mayflower because they knew, like, it didn't water. I was like, nobody drank water, but it was gross. Yeah. So they drank whiskey and stuff. Yeah, right. If you were in George Washington's army, one of the rations you got, whiskey. That's I would have got, I would have probably got me to serve. That's why he was elected yeah. president. Exactly, because of the whiskey. Yeah. So, we've been a, a nation fascinated with the drink for a long time. Then that moral movement comes in and it passes, and people okay. are like, "Whatever." Yeah. But then all this bad stuff happened. Started happening. So we're we're at a restaurant right now. Yeah. This place probably would have closed 
during Prohibition because they didn't have any alcohol. Product. Worth the thirsty line in Tempe, by the way. Big shout out. Good beer selection. Yeah, well, they have a very good beer selection. Going I was going to show that. Gonna, gonna oh, show go, that. Yeah. It's backwards, though. So, whatever. You can figure it out. Mike gave a shout out to it. <laughs> so, <laughs> that being said, we um, decided to keep drinking despite the fact that it wasn't legal. Right. The restaurants are closing. People are, oh, they're, people are going to spend their entertainment money on the theaters. Yeah, they're yeah, going to go yeah. to the theater. Nobody yeah. went to the theater. So people want to go drink. That's what happened. And that's what Not iced tea. They wanted to drink beer. Yes. Not iced tea. Not iced tea. But oh. at 7 0, well, once you get home, 7 30 ish, putting the Christmas lights up, there yeah, will be a couple Christmas of Christmas lights. Yeah. And beer. Yeah. So, that being said, the movement became the opposite of that moral movement. Like, yo, let's just face facts. We like to drink. Yeah. So, I didn't know this. We're a drinking nation. Franklin Delano Roosevelt, who the only president to serve four terms, well, three and a half, the yeah, ish, right? Yep. He ran on repealing prohibition. Nicely done. I probably would have voted for that communist FDR. I mean, the the demo, the the New Deal guy. Yeah. Should I say that? FDR. But mm-hmm. if he runs on prohibition, ending prohibition, I'm down. Yeah, he wins. Yeah. Yep, he wins. So that's going to be when we fast forward. There's going to be a president soon that yep. will run on the end of the prohibition of marijuana. You see what I mean? There's going to be a pro-marijuana president that's going to do just like FDR mm-hmm. and probably walk away with the whole but thing. But it, it goes to show you, too, the bans didn't really work because obviously America kept drinking. Right. And uh, it only lasted 13 years. The it, rise of Al Capone, yeah. essentially, during that time. He made $60 million a year in 19, like 25, 26. Pay your taxes. Syphilis is going to get you. No, he bu- got busted on I paying taxes on tax evasion. syphilis and yeah. died in Alcatraz. Right. I know. It okay. happens. There we have it. It happens. So, today, December 5th, 1933. It's not a lift on the prohibition of iced tea. Nope. It's a lift on the prohibition of good, lovely, awesome alcohol and beer. And I mentioned a statistic if you're just joining us. In 1873, the record amount of breweries in the United States was 4,100 and something. We did not reach that number, Mike, until last year. We now are at the same number. We have exceeded it. 4,144 breweries in the United States as of last year. Good job, America. America. Good job, America. We You're like to great. drink. You're we doing like great, America. Yeah. You're doing great. Friday, so, Friday, Friday, Friday. That's why we like this day. Because obviously we're the brewmans. We like drinking beer. We like drinking, you know, maybe like drinking whiskey. Maybe like drinking vodka. None of that was possible. If we were alive in 1922. I like, I like tequila. And I like beer. Beer. I drink three things, essentially. It's water, coffee, mm-hmm. and beer. And then sprinkle a little tequila and vodka in there. I don't like vodka. I don't do the whiskey. So bourbon much. and whiskey. Mm-hmm. Bourbon. All right. We got to try that. Yeah, we'll do a bourbon. All right. Let's make, right, make it happen. I'm yep. good with that. All right. So how are you celebrating the end of Prohibition? If you didn't know, yes. a lot of people didn't know. We're talking to a few of the wait, wait staff around here, and they had no idea that today celebrated and marked the end of Prohibition here in the United States. And we're asking them, how are they celebrating? What are they going to do? Mm-hmm. And each of them said... Uh-huh. Gonna have a drink, duh. Well, yeah. One of these, yeah. So we encourage you to post on this page what you are drinking to celebrate the end of prohibition. How much you love to drink safely, of course. I don't want any of this nonsense. Uber, Uber. I went with dog for said sixty minutes. You, what are you gonna do when you get home? You know, a uh, Sierra Nevada celebration ale. I like that. I just got. I just picked out a celebration ale. It's an awesome one. Yeah, it's yep. a good one. Yeah. But you know, it's. I look at prohibition and I say. There's a lot of mistakes in American history. Let's just be honest. Let's call it what it is. This, this it was an experiment. Ones. We got things wrong. Yep. Whatever. But you know, we corrected it. We figured it all out. And it only took 13 years to correct it. So that was a fast correction. Civil rights, for America. women's rights. Yep. Took a while. Alcohol. Got that done quick. We'll hit marijuana soon enough. We're right in the wrongs. We are right in the wrongs. I'm not saying we'll hit marijuana. Soon no, no, enough, no. Slappy. We're not going to be the you marijuana. Got all excited mans. about that, yeah. <laughs> not the marijuana. The mans. weed mans. Weed mans. <laughs> But it really, at the end of the day, it's about freedom. And in that 13-year dark period of American history, dark times, America restricted freedom. America. America responded by wanting freedom and wanting to drink. That's right. December 5th, 1933. How many years ago was that? 83? Don't give me. Are you kidding? Fine. 83. 80, I think it's 83. Is that 83? Somebody do the math and tell us. <laughs> Thomas, watching Drink Ice Tea. That's how I'm celebrating. Oh, it's awful. Well, you know what? If you don't drink, that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. I ain't, no, I ain't mad at you. I no, they're watching out. me drink iced tea. Well, yeah. That's what he's saying. That's how I'm so watching. Oh, watching you. That's how he's so- <laughs> <sighs> There's some things we do. Mm-hmm. For work, for job security, you know, take care of the children and all. You know, that income thing we have to do. I work early in the morning. 
this is one of the benefits of working working early in the morning because it is what time? There's a lot of benefits. Something. I don't know. I already got beer in. Dude, it's two thirty. <laughs> what is it? Twelve. Time flies when you're having fun. Twelve already. Time flies when you're having fun. It's a crack of noon. Mm -hmm. It's two thirty. <laughs> hey, today's the day to celebrate America. So go celebrate. Yes, have fun. Do this. Yes. Do you approve? Tamara asked. We approve of under twenty one. Um, under 21 what? Drinking, drinking under 21? I think if you can have a gun placed in your hand and go die for your country, that yes, Amen. you can have a beer. If we're going to call you an adult, that yes, you should be able to have a drink or raise the adult age or enter the military age to 21 then. Yeah. Yeah, I say yeah. drop it to 18. Absolutely. I totally agree because it used to be and then the federal government came in and again, restricted freedom to tell the states, hey, if you want money from feds, Lowered, uh, I raised the drinking age. And everybody at Louisiana, that's why I love Louisiana. Louisiana was uh, like the last holdout. They were like, no, we like drinking in Louisiana, so we're not going to do this. They eventually gave in because they like money too. Like money more than that. Uh, shout out to Joe. She says, I'm keeping your ass safe so you can drink beer. Cheers to you, Joe. Next round's on us. Yes, mm -hmm. of beer, not iced not tea. Not iced tea. Although it looks like you could be drinking like some bourbon in there too. Dude, it's got a little swizzle with a lemon in it. They speared the lemon. This is so lame. I'm no fruit in this beer. Mm. No fruit in this beer. Mm. Why? Why? Oh, because you get to have a beer. Ah, okay. We're checking out. Just remember the date. This is the Brewmans. Yeah. Celebrating December 5th, going back to 1933. The 21st Amendment was ratified. Can you guess the state that ratified it? There's a little bit of irony in here. Utah. Utah was the 36th state to ratify because it was, you know, not all the, no, it wasn't 50 states back then. It was only 48. Oh, wow, yeah. We weren't so 36 around. Day, we were not around. We weren't yeah. around. We weren't even around. We were here. We were like well, 19, we're here. We're here. No, we're here. We're State 48, right? We were State 48. Yeah, so 36 back then. Utah, shout out to y'all. Hooking it Good up. Good job, Utah. Love you, Utah. Proud of you. Yep, love you. All Talk right. about freedom. Utah loves freedom. That's all it is. We got to go because uh, I didn't finish this beer. And I'm going to celebrate. I got to go to work. Yeah, you got to go to work. I'm going to go home. Chill out. December 5th, 1933, the 21st Amendment passed. Saving America, letting us all drink. Go freedom. One beer at a time. Cheers, y'all. Make America great again one Woo! beer at a time. How about that? Cheers, 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 All cheers. Right, cheers, cheers. All right. Ah! You got to hit the other one up there, yep. too. I'll hit go this one. one. Hit hit there you go. Hit that one. We out, y'all. Follow us on no, the you Facebook. Hit. You're already on the Facebook. On the Twitter, at the Brewmans. Instagram, the Ooh. underscore Brewmance. We will talk to y'all soon. By the way, more reviews coming up soon. And some holiday public service I can't service stop it. <laughs>